Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank Malarsic and in this video, we're going to be walking through the steps you need to do to add a custom Google Sheets script to your spreadsheet that tracks your dividend portfolio. And basically what this script is gonna do, uh, I made this script and it's gonna be uh, hopefully easy for you guys to uh, put into your spreadsheet. Basically what it's gonna do is it's going to enter the annual dividend amount for each company in your portfolio, the X dividend date and the pay date. And then it can also enter the dividend frequency. Uh, you know, if they pay, you know, four times a year or two times a year or 12 times a year, um, because that's something that's helpful as well to know. And it's pretty easy to get. So the first thing you're going to need, obviously, is some sort of dividend spreadsheet. Uh, this is just, you know, a super, very, very basic thing I just created in about you know, 30 seconds just to showcase this uh, starting from scratch, basically. So I just have my ticker symbol and then uh, that I've listed out in my companies. And then I have these columns for these um, different data points that I want to collect about these different companies. So the first thing we're going to do uh, to get this information is we're going to go to GitHub and basically going to find the repository that I created. Uh, and so we're going to go up to the top here and search or Frank Malarsic um, is my account. And then you wanna go here to users and you can find me there <clears throat> and that's my account. And then if you go to repositories right here and click get dividends, uh, that's my repository for uh, this project. <clears throat> and this right here is the readme file. It's kind of uh, walking you through all the steps that we're gonna go through in this video. Um, so if you get stuck, you know, you can go back in the video or you can you know, try to look at these steps and hopefully they'll help you out. <clears throat> And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into our project here or our Google Sheets spreadsheet. The first thing we're going to do is go to extensions here and apps script. And this is just going to create our project. And then we uh, it's going to give us a default file. We can just delete whatever's in this file. And then we can go to our GitHub repository and go to this dividends.js file. And then we're just going to um, copy everything in this uh, file so we can just you know, highlight it all down here and then roll C and then, or, you know, if you're not on windows, you can right click and click copy Then go back into your, uh, script here and then click paste. And, uh, it's going to paste everything in there and then make sure you click control S to save it. And these, uh, few variables up top with, uh, capital letters, we need to edit the ver uh, the values of those to you know suit our specific spreadsheet so the first one is the spreadsheet id and that's basically this uh long numbers and letters uh key basically that's between the d and the edit uh words in your url of your spreadsheet so you can just copy that and then paste it in there and then summary sheet name this is basically the sheet that we want uh this to run in so i'm just going to re rename this to summary or uh, if you already have a spreadsheet and you want to keep the name of that sheet, you can just you know change this name to whatever your name is. And then the get ticker column, this basically means the column that your ticker symbols are going to be in, which means the script is going to look in that column for those ticker symbols. So ours is in column one, so we're just going to leave that as a one. And then these next few, uh, they're called post, which means those are the you know columns that our script is going to write data to and put data into. So the post dividend column is basically, you know, where we want the dividend to be. So that's number two, column two, the X dividend column is number three, pay column is number four and dividend frequency column is number five. Uh, so we'll put those in appropriately. So two, five and four for the, sorry, three for the X dividend date and then a four for the pay date. And then the first ticker row, that's just the first row that our ticker symbols appear in. So for us, that's two, which is the default value. Uh, you know, if you had these ticker symbols like down here and you had other stuff up here that you didn't want to be messed up, uh, then you would want to, you know, change that to nine maybe so that uh, that stuff up here didn't get messed up. And so that's, you know, what you need to set up for these variables. Uh, and then you want to make sure you save the file and then you want to create a new file, um, which is going to be a script and you don't really have to do this. You could just put it in this same file, but uh, it's kind of best practice in general to do that. So you can delete everything out of that file and then just go uh, back to the main repository here, go to the keys file and just basically copy this one line 
uh, into that file. Like I said, you could just put it in the main uh, file, but it's sort of better practice to put it here. So this is going to be your Polygon key. We're going to use, be using the Polygon API. Uh, it's pretty simple to set up an account and get a key. So we're going to go to Polygon.io. And then, you know, I think I already maybe have an account, but if you don't, when you click get your free API key, it'll ask you to create an account. It's pretty simple. You just, you know, enter your email and password and your account's created. Very easy. Uh, so then you just go over here to the left uh, to API keys. And you're going to get this key showing up here and you can just copy it uh, with this button. It's going to copy it to your clipboard and then you just go back into the project and paste it in here and save this file. And that's pretty much all you have to do for editing the actual files. And uh, the limitation, I guess, with the Polygon API, it's free. Um, which is great, but you have to, you can only do a maximum of five calls to the API every minute, um, which is a little bit annoying, but it's pretty easy to get around that just by, you know, waiting between calls. So I just wait 12.1 seconds between each call. And then that ensures that we're not doing more than five calls uh, per minute. So sometimes the script may take a little bit longer uh, than you might expect to run, but that's just because most of the time it's just kind of sitting there waiting uh, so that we don't, you know, uh, get some sort of error. So we're going to start running this now so we can see uh, what's going to happen. And we might have to uh, authorize this script. I'm not sure. Uh, I think we will. Normally it takes a little bit uh, the first time to get it up and running. Yeah, so it says we have to authorize it. Um, so we're going to go here and you just choose your account and click advanced and then you know click go to the project uh, just because you know your this project can edit stuff in your spreadsheet and if someone else has access to it they could you know mess something up in your spreadsheet uh, so now while this is running uh, we're going to set up a trigger and basically what that is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to not have to run this function manually. Uh, sorry, I'll go back so you can see all the steps. But it's going to make it so that Google is going to run these functions for us and do this every single day. So uh, it'll make more sense. I'll click add trigger. And then we want to choose which function to run. Uh, we want to make sure we have the add dividends function selected. That's going to make sure that we actually, you know, add all those dividend values to the spreadsheet. And then you don't have to mess with the, de the deployment. Uh, the event source is going to be time driven. And that means that we can select a trigger to happen every single day by selecting day timer here. And then you can select time of day because uh, just because it's easier for them if you just select a general range of times instead of a specific time. Uh, so I normally choose 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. It doesn't really matter, but you can choose whatever you want. And then just click Save It. And from there, it should be good to go. Uh, we can go back to the editor to see how our script is going. It actually might have stopped since we uh, you know, started uh, messing with the triggers. So it looked like it stopped just because we were messing with the triggers. But it actually put the first few values in for 3M. So it got the annual dividend of $5.96. Uh, the X dividend date and the pay date for you know the next dividends. So we can actually look if we want to check this. We can go to seeking our uh, seeking alpha here, and you know find 3M, and look at you know if this is accurate or not. So we go to 3M, go to the dividends, and uh, we can see that the you know last announced dividend is $1.49. The annual payout is $5.96, which is what we have here, $5.96. And then the X dividend dates they have listed are uh, February 17th and March 12th for the payout date, which is exactly what we have here. Uh, so that's pretty cool um, how simple it is. And um, once you get all that set up, that's pretty much it. You have the trigger set up, so it's going to run you know, automatically on its own. You won't have to do anything, and it should just run every day and update everything in your spreadsheet, and you should be good to go. So uh, let me know if you guys do have any questions. Um, I'm hoping to you know, create some more projects like this so that other people can sort of use my scripts in their spreadsheet. Um, it's you know, something super awesome and super fun for me to work on to make my uh, spreadsheet better but then if i can share that with other people and get other people involved uh that's even better so let me know if you do have any questions i'd be happy to help you with any problems and if you you know think there should be some improvements or changes made or you know there's some bugs definitely let me know and i'll get those fixed uh, so thanks for sticking around to the end of the video i hope it is helpful and i'll see you in the next one